Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today, we're going to talk about the five signs of leaky gut syndrome or intestinal permeability. So let's get right into it. Hippocrates said, bad digestion is the root of all evil. And this was over 2,000 years ago. So what is leaky gut or intestinal permeability? Basically, it compromises the integrity of the gut barrier and increases the ent entry of undigested antigens into the submucosa and circulation, thus challenging the immune system. What that means is damage can be occur in the gut lining and it allows larger food proteins such as gluten to cross into the bloodstream and causes an inflammatory process or an immune response. Okay. The gut lining or epithelium, the cells of the gut, can comprise of 3,000 square meters, basically the size of a tennis court. If you lay it flat out onto a tennis court, it can cover the entire court. All right. So what can cause leaky gut? Food proteins. If you have allergies or you have sensitivities, to certain foods, it can create leaky gut. Chemicals, plenty of them, herbicides, pesticides, uh, plastics. Overuse of antibiotics can create leaky gut issues. Certain medications, processed foods can also create issues. Autoimmune disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, celiac disease can all create this problem. Chronic stress or post-traumatic stress syndrome, right? Uh, PTSD can create issues with the gut lining. Concussion. Now this is not talked about uh, very often, but concussions where you have an impact to the head and it creates a leaky brain will immediately create a leaky gut. So bonds that prevent things get to uh, get into the brains are very similar to what uh, the bonds are in the GI tract. And once the bonds are broken in the brain, blood brain barrier, it can also happen in the gut. So concussions can create leaky gut issues or even SIBO type symptoms. Low stomach acid, HCL, digestive enzymes can also be a problem as we age. So in the past, they used to use uh, lactulose or mannitose type testing for leaky gut issues. But you can do more sensitive testing by checking lipopolysaccharides, actomyosin, occluded and zonulin bonds. Uh, you can do what we call the IgG or IgA immune response to see if you have an actual immune response to these um, tissues. So lipopolysaccharides are basically bacterial endotoxins. Actomyosin are the epithelial damage, and occluded and zonulin bonds are the tight junctions that uh, put the cells together and prevent things to cross, or only allow things that are supposed to cross, cross over. Now, there are two forms of leaky gut, quote unquote leaky gut, it's intestinal permeability or intestinal damage, but you can have what we call transcellular meaning things that should not cross will transcross through the cell itself, and then something called paracellular, meaning the tight junctions between cells are damaged and food proteins and antigens can cross into the bloodstream. So there are two forms, right? Transcellular and paracellular. Now, what you're here for is the five signs. Increased food reactions. You eat certain foods, you feel like you're swollen, you're bloated, you have uh, abnormal reactions to foods that you were able to eat in the past. Number two, unpredictable food reactions, right? You just don't know. You just eat something one day and you feel fine and the other day you don't feel so well. Aches, pain, and swelling throughout the body. That's an important one. If you feel like you have joint pain, aches, and so forth after meals, let's say 24 to 48 hours, you can have issues with leaky gut. Unpredictable abdominal swelling. 
bloating basically right you get bloating and you just don't know it's kind of random or you can get frequent bloating and distension of the abdomen with eating that's often signs of SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth this is where bacteria that should not live in the small intestine uh, migrate from the large intestine into the small intestine and creates a lot of gases methane and hydrogen are the two primary ones but frequent bloating that progresses throughout the day so you get up in the morning your, your tummy is pretty flat you eat breakfast you feel a little bit bloated eat lunch more bloated by dinner time you feel like you're pregnant that's a classic sign of SIBO small intestinal bacterial overgrowth and that's a, a, a part of what intestinal permeability is and what uh, leaky gut is so if you want there's you know you can do a whole lecture on leaky gut or intestinal permeability you can do a whole weekend lecture um, but this is just a synopsis of what might be going on with you so it's important to check so you can do lipopolysaccharide actomyosin and including zonulin bond testing through a lab called Cyrex Labs uh, they're a leading immunology uh, testing company and you can do these tests through blood to see if you have an immune response or if you have leaky gut syndrome okay my name is dr jen sung where clinical excellence meets excellent results and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side have an awesome day